Bye guys to the dreaded May 2017 paper and this one in particular is number two where everyone you know wasn't sure if the answer in the end was 1 over 16 root 2 or 1 over 8. Well let's find out. So when we differentiate this let us firstly write this in the correct differential integration standard format. So without further ado we should have y equals and then root x we should know is always going to be x to the power half so keep it always in indice format plus and 4 of root x so anything over anything that's reciprocal that has a negative power and of course root x power half is going to be 4 x power of negative half and of course we just stick in the plus 4 now on differentiating this what do we get so dy over dx first we drop the power half down so we got half x and subtract by 1 it's negative half drop the minus half to 2 against 4 so 4 times minus half is minus 2x subtract by 1 is minus 3 over 2 and the version 4 is nada nothing now here they ask us to plug 8 x equals 8 into this dy dx so dy over dx when x equals 8 we should get so before we do this let's put this in the correct format so we, we you know Put into the same format as, as the previous is the question itself. We should have one over two root x. Or in this case, instead of x, we're going to replace it with eight minus two. Now, this case, it's going to be underneath, so it'll be root x cubed underneath. So, or in our case, root eight cubed. Okay, so here comes the fun now. So all we have to do now is somehow simplify these. So how do we do this? So first things first, what I would personally do is pull out the side and just try and work out what root A is itself. So we should know that root A is, comp is composed of root 4 and root 2. And we know root 4 is actually the same as the whole number 2. This gives us an indication this is 2 root 2. Alright, that's done. Now how about root A cube? Well, root A cube is just literally 3 root A stacked together. So that's cubing it. And we know that when, this, when we multiply two root 8s, we get a whole number 8, and then we're left with root 8. We also know that root 8 is the same as 2 root 2. This means we're going to have 8 times 2 root 2, which is 16 root 2. Okay, done. Now, whew, what happens here? Let's have a try. So now let's plug everything back in here. Yeah? Oh yeah, of course, we're going to have, um, what, what is it? 2 root 8. So 2 root 8 is just double... 2 root 2 which is 4 root 2. So moving on. Substitute everything back in, we're going to have 1 over 4 root 2 minus, so 2 divided by this. This will give us 1 over 8 root 2. Hmm. Nearly there. Now the question of course wants us in the form of root 2. So what I would personally do is firstly let's tidy this up and then what we need to do is rationalize. So only way to combine these two if they have the same denominator. We could just double these two. Why write again? So make it 8 here and 2 there. So 2 take away 1 is just 1 over 8 root 2. Now here comes the fun, the rationalizing bit. To rationalize, we just have to multiply up and down by root 2 and root 2. This would give us what? 1 times root 2 is root 2. And then root 2 times root 2 is a whole number 2 times 8. 2 times 8 is 16, and hence we found our term. So it's 1 over 16 root 2. And thanks a lot, guys. Hope this video helps, and let's move on to the next dreaded 3. Ciao now.